That's the role model, right? The, yeah. the, the guys that are getting the girls, the guys that have the nice cars. This is this is who we're looking up to because those are the role models. You know, we want to be like them. So I mean, so so you you start off in in New York. So you uh, have this this crazy upbringing. Then like, what's next? Like, how do you get to Miami and how do you start the exotics? So like, as far as so you want to just all right, we can jump right to that. Because, like, there's a lot of fraud that's in the documentary that's before that as well. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. You know, yeah, let's so, talk about it. <laughs> yeah. So, like, wait, wait, wait. Let me just say this. These things that, because you 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 essentially were charged and convicted for the crypto scam. Yeah, originally I was charged and convicted for the crypto scam, but I ended up cooperating. That's why I'm not in jail. Now, my question is... So I was, were you charged and convicted for the things before that? Because if yeah, not, so I don't want to talk you, about it. You are. So when you cooperate, you have to admit to every crime you ever did in your okay, life. Okay, so 12 You talked about everything. Yeah, so, so us I, talking about it here on the podcast is not getting nobody locked up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is not Vlad yeah. TV, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to make sure we put that out there. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to talk about this in its totality. He's already confessed to his crimes. He's already did the time. He's already been judged for whatever he's done. So we making sure, you know, we we, we here for the people. You know what I mean? So yes. go ahead. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, yeah, so originally my first big crime was like a prescription fraud, right? With pills back in the day, I had basically stolen a pad and then I got this kid that was a professional handwriter and then he would write out, I would just get like a doctor to give me a script for like Ave or whatever. Mm -hmm. And we would just write out unlimited amounts of scripts for pills. So that was like a prescription fraud like little ring I ran back in the day when I was like 18, 17. How much money would you say you made doing that? Probably over a year, like probably a little bit less than like half a million. 